These are unit one, lesson four notes, solving one and two step equations. The standard is A dot four A. Our essential question is how can I solve one and two step equations? So first we're gonna look at this table on the right that has our four main operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we want to label what their inverse is or the opposite. So the opposite is really what we call inverse. So the inverse of addition is going to be subtraction. And the inverse of subtraction is going to be addition. Then the inverse of multiplication is division. And the inverse of division is multiplication. So when we solve an equation, think of the equation as a balanced scale. The left side of the equation is equal to the right side. You must always keep the scale balanced. Your job is to isolate the variable. Isolate meaning get the variable by itself. In order to get the variable by itself, you must undo each operation in the equation by using the inverse. So the key here is what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So before we get to some examples, we're going to go over the property of equalities. So first is the addition property of equality, which states that if an equation is true and the same number is added to each side of the equation, the resulting equivalent equation is also true. And so if we take this whole long sentence and make it sound a little simpler, what that essentially means is you're going to add the same number to both sides. So once again, the key here is what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So one way that's going to help us do something to both sides is if you put a line down through the middle of your equation. Then we can see here that we started with 14 and 14 does equal 14. Then we added three to both sides using the addition property of equality and we got 17 when we simplified. The second example, we added nine to both sides. Next, we have the subtraction property of equality, which states if an equation is true and the same number is subtracted from each side of the equation, the resulting equivalent equation is also true. So that essentially just says we are going to subtract the same number from both sides. So you can see in this first example, if we once again put our lines down the middle of our equal sign, you can see that we started with 87, then on both sides of the equation, we subtracted 17, so that our resulting equation is also true. 70 does equal 70. In the second one, we subtracted 28 from both sides. So you can see, the examples on the left are done horizontally and the examples on the right are done vertically. So next we have the multiplication property of equality, which says if an equation is true and each side is multiplied by the same number, the resulting equivalent equation is also true. 
So essentially, you're just going to multiply by the same number on both sides. So you can see here that we start with 1 half x equals 5. So we're going to go ahead and put our line down the middle of our equal signs. And we multiplied both sides by 2 to see that x equals 10. And in our second example, we multiplied both sides by 3 using our multiplication property of equality. Lastly, we have our division property of equality, which states that if an equation is true and each side is divided by the same number, the resulting equivalent equation is also true. So essentially, you are going to divide by the same number on both sides. So here we start with 6x equals 12, and we're going to put our line down the middle of our equal sign. And we divided both sides by 6 to get x equals 2. In our second example, we divided both sides of the equation by 5. So we can shorten property of equality and just write POE. So here we're going to identify in our vertical and horizontal examples which property of equality is going on. So we are given that 4k minus 3 equals 2k plus 5. I'm going to go ahead and draw our line down the middle of our equal sign. Then you can see that the next step that we did was subtracting 2k on both sides. So since we subtracted, this is going to give us the subtraction property of equality. That is what we used here. So then we subtracted and our 2k's canceled out on the right side and 4k minus 2k is 2k and then we added 3 to both sides so that would be our addition property of equality and when we added 3 on both sides the left side our 3 cancels out and then 5 plus 3 gives us 8 so we end up with 2k equals 8. And then we divided both sides by 2. So here we have our division property of equality. And then we can see that our answer was k equals 4. So in our horizontal example, so whichever one you do, vertical or horizontal, is totally up to you. We have 2 times 8x plus 2 equals to negative 28. And the difference between the given and step 1 is that we distributed the 2 into our parentheses. So from here to here, we have the distributive property. Then, from 16x plus 4 equals negative 28 to step 2, we can see the difference is that we have a minus 4 on both sides. So here we are utilizing the subtraction property of equality. Because we are subtracting 4 on both sides. 
Then the difference between step two and step three is we simplified. So plus four and minus four cancel out to leave us with 16x on the left. And negative 28 minus four gives us negative 32. So here we just simplified. Then from step three to step four, you can see that we divided both sides by 16. So we use the division property of equality. And then we just simplified. So on the left side, 16 divided by 16 leaves us with one X, which is the same as just X. And then negative 32 divided by 16 gives us our negative two when we simplify.